Guys, this is Zach King back with another Python video, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your own um, GUI text editor, pretty much like Notepad, and uh, it's going to be very, very basic. Uh, there actually won't be any formatting for text as of uh, this video, but maybe in the future. Um, so, the module I'm going to be using for the GUI programming is Python's built in uh, tkinter module. And if you've seen my AES encryption uh, application video, then you know, you've already kind of seen Tkinter in use. And it's a very, very easy to learn GUI uh, module. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing uh, we want to do is import the modules that we're going to use. And I'm going to use a from module import all. And we're going to be using, of course, Tkinter. And then we're also going to be using the TK file dialog module, and that's how we're going to be doing some uh, open and save file dialogs. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and create uh, one global variable called file name, set it to none. Now we're going to write uh, four functions. We're going to we need one to create a new file and we're going to use our global file name variable. We're going to set that to untitled because whenever you create a new uh, file, it always sets its its uh, name to un untitled. And then, uh, then after that, we're actually going to say uh, text dot delete. And you will see where this uh, text part here comes in. We're going to create our uh, main text box for entering the text. We're going to create it and uh, store it in a variable called text. So, and for um, for objects, for tkinter objects like that, you actually don't have to declare it as a global variable up here, so it does recognize this. All right, now we're going to create a new one for save file. And for our save file, we're going to um, we're going to say t equals text dot get. Well, actually, actually, we need to uh, get our global file name first. So t equals text dot get zero point zero. And uh, if you're wondering what the uh, zero point zero is here, that is uh, the number to the left of the decimal is going to be the uh, line number. So this is the zeroth line or the very first, and the number on the right is actually the column number. So uh, if you look down here at the bottom of Sublime Text Editor, line 13, column 19, that's kind of an example uh, in the Sublime Text Editor. So this is actually going to get all the text from the very beginning to the very end, or all the text. And then we want to say f equals open file name and in the mode w for write then we'll say f dot write t and f dot close and that is our save file so what this does is it uh, pretty much stores all the text from your uh, text box and then it opens the file with the file name um, up here and then uh, stores it in that so it doesn't actually give you any dialogues and um, and whatnot so this is if you were just hitting save now we're going to write one for save as well, uh, well. and this time we actually don't need the global file name we're going to say f equals ask open or ask save as file and uh, this is a, a um, function that's inside our tk file dialog so open parentheses mode equals w for write then default extension equals dot txt 
because we want it to we want them to be opening text file or saving as text files. Now we're going to say t equals text dot get zero point zero and end. Then we're going to use a try and accept statement to say uh, f dot write t dot r strip. Now what that does is the R strip here, it, um, if we did include that, then it would cut off all of our white space under the underneath um, the text that we write into the file. So f dot write that, and then accept. So if there is some sort of error, which it shouldn't be, but uh, we're going to say show error, which is another function for the TK file dog, and title equals. Oops message equals something like unable to save file and then uh, that is it for that function now we're going to write a new one new file and uh, oh, not new file I've already written that um, our last function is actually going to be open file so open file is going to say f equals ask open file mode equals r for read, then t equals f dot read and text dot delete because we want to uh, get rid of all the text in the text box, and then text dot insert 0.0, .0 and t. And that is it for our functions. Now we're actually going to write the tkinter part of this. So of course, we always start with our TK object, our main uh, window, which is called root. And we're going to set root's title in, uh, to, uh, let's see, my Python text editor. Now, we also want to go ahead and make our min size and uh, max size. We're going to say five or uh, 400. And we'll make the max size the uh, exact same. That way, they can't resize the window. And then we also want to go ahead and say uh, create our text box. So text equals text at a root. And then the width we want to be 400 and height to be 400, so that it will fill up the entire window. Then we can say text.tack, and that's actually going to display our text box. Now, the next thing we need to do is create a menu bar. So if you look at the top of my screen where all these are, that's what we're going to be creating right now. So menu bar equals menu root, then file menu equals menu, menu bar. Now we need to say file menu dot add command label equals uh, new we'll just say new and then a command equals new file then we're going to do the same thing for all the others so new open command equals uh, open file file menu dot add command label equals save command equals save file and one more here save as command equals save as and then we're going to create um, a separator add underscore separator so this is going to make uh, let's see if there's one in here okay so these little lines faint lines right between save all and new window there we're going to create one of those and then we're going to create one more uh, command label is going to be quit command is going to be um, root dot quit and that's actually going to close our application so after we've done that, we can say 
minibar dot add cascade and we'll say file menu and then the very last root dot config menu equals menu bar and root dot main loop this is our finished application I know this was a lot for one video but um, this is extremely basic stuff I might actually add on to this in the future and uh, make it so that you can format your text and good stuff like that but let's go ahead and build this so uh oh we've got an error alright let me check this line 48 add cascade <laughs> okay here we go um, the uh, add cascade here needs to have a label equals file and then menu equals file menu let's save that and uh, then build it and it should build it says my python text editor hello world like that now we only have one little uh, menu up here, one cascade. You can see though it actually has this. So let's go ahead and hit new like that, and it clears it and stuff. So this is very basic. But um, if we go ahead and do this, hello world, and then we can hit save as, and it'll open up this box here, and let's save this as test test file.txt save it and uh, I'm going to replace one that I already had now we can actually hit uh, quit we can go in here and rebuild this then go file open and text file and there you go so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have fun with tkinter it's a really cool module maybe not as cool as some of the others such as uh, WX um, and stuff like that but it is definitely something to check out and it's really easy to get started in has a lot of widgets you could choose from uh, such as the text one here but uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later thanks for watching